Hey fam, welcome back to Cooking with Mo Denise. Today we're gonna be whipping up some keto waffles. Okay, we're gonna start off by adding our cream cheese and our eggs. Try to make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature. It'll be easier to um, mix with the rest of the ingredients. And I always struggle with cracking eggs. I make a mess with eggs all the time, but it's okay. If you're not really um, good with cracking eggs, it's also good to crack them in a separate bowl and then add them to your mixture. But I only had cream cheese in here, so I'm okay. I'm confident I can get it with any shells. Then you just want to combine your cream cheese and your eggs and blend them up and try to get them as creamy and blended as possible. Now you want to go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of baking powder and also a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then you're gonna get ready to blend this up. Every so couple ingredients, I always just mix and make sure that everything is well incorporated. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and dump in some salt. I always use Himalayan pink salt. This is the only salt that I keep in the house. It's the best salt on the market right now. And if you guys are still with me, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll be bringing more recipes and some more unboxing videos of some different things that I'm getting on along this journey. Now we have our cinnamon. So you want to put as much cinnamon as you like. I don't measure my cinnamon. I just dump in. Um, I'm making this for myself. So I like cinnamon. So if it's too much, I don't care. But if you don't like cinnamon, then just maybe a splash for a little taste. And then we're gonna add our vanilla extract. I don't measure vanilla either. I like it, so I like the vanilla flavor, so I just pour some in there. You can do the vanilla and the cinnamon to your taste buds and your liking. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some sugar. Now for the sugar, um, you wanna add, if you want it really sweet, then you might want to put a little bit more than one um, tablespoon. I just added one tablespoon of swerve powdered sugar. Um, if you have another sugar substitute that you like, then you're welcome to add that in. And then we're going to use almond flour and we're going to use three fourths cups of almond flour and then we're going to mix this in and this is it and then you just want to blend everything up really good until you have a real creamy batter so i already have my waffle iron preheating so it's already hot and ready to go. This is non-stick, so you don't have to spray it down with anything. You want to cook your waffles two to three minutes each if you want it light. If you want it darker, then I would suggest that you cook it for three to five minutes each, and then you'll have a crispy golden brown. You'll see the difference in the pictures at the end of the video on cooking it two to three minutes versus three to five minutes, okay? And that's me taking the second one out and then I'm going to go ahead and put these on here and then I'm going to let these cook a little bit longer because I would like mine's a little bit darker than the first batch that I did. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is the finished product. I have some more pictures of the ones that I cooked a little bit longer if you like them a little bit crispier. They are so pretty. They came out really good. They are delicious. You can store these in the freezer. So the batter makes uh, probably about 10 good waffles. So you can store them in the freezer and just pull them out, put them in the toaster when you want to have them. 
and you can make a sandwiches or whatever you like with them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for cooking with Mo Denise.